All right, we're going to entitle this one at the end. Okay, let's go right into the scriptures. So, this is Ro uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword by a sword and did live which right which had the wound by the sword and did live so that that ancient pagan roman empire was taken down right but revived and today is what you call the modern uh, today which would be the modern day roman empire all right which is babylon the great aka america all right which came out of britain all right that little horn that came out of uh Britain. All right. So they were revived and they brought back. So this is the image. The image that comes with these with this place is what you call democracy, uh, homosexuality, uh, transgenderism, bestiality, uh, uh, covetousness, murder, lies, and uh, so on and so forth. All right. That's the image of this beast that rep that's the image that it brings to represent itself right it's legislation and uh it's uh laws and, and things of that nature okay and all of that all of that uh uh stuff of that nature so uh let's continue to read on revelation 13 and 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast now these are the modern day, uh, what you would say, uh, the, the Caesars, which you would say who are back here again today. Because there's a thing called reincarnation. They're back here on the earth again today. You know, if you, if that, if you get that, if you understand that, if that didn't go over your head, you know. But anyway, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. So if you don't bow down to the ways or the philosophies of this beast, which is the beast is the fourth Roman Empire, uh, the fourth beast, which is the Roman, the ancient pagan Roman Empire, which is now what you consider the modern day Roman Empire, which is revived, which is America. So you understand. All right. Which is. A part of NATO and the EU, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and the European Union. All right? So it says should be killed, right? So if, if you don't worship the image of this beast, like now you got with things that's going on, which is such as CV-19, right? CV-19, you got to, it's like what you call compliancy, all right? Or being compliant, wearing masks and things of this nature. And these are all parts of the uh, lies and the images and the things of the beast, man. The things that the beast come with. It's legislation. It's legislation. It's laws and things of that nature, man. All right. And they take all of these things over into different, in many different countries and they toss it off on them. Like, why you think over in uh, all these other countries they got McDonald's and Burger King and all this is the representation of of America, which pushes themselves off over into uh, many different other countries, bringing that same image or that same representation that they put out over here, right? That they, they base on here and base on their TV and they push it out to all these other countries. This is the image, all right? So let's go here real quick on the word image. Let's go here. The word image, right? It says the representation that looks like a person or a thing or a thing or image, likeness, figure, drawing, portrait, reflection, statue. Uh, it says uh, a copy or imitation or likeness or statue or picture. Right? An idea. An idea or appearance. All right? Let's go down here. All right. Oh, right here it says. It says a meaning or reflection in a mirror. 
It says the mental sense was in Latin to it was in Latin and appears in English late 14th century. Sense of public impression is attested in isolated cases, right? But not in common use until the rise of the jar the jargon of advertising and public re uh, public relations. So pretty much the public impression. All right. So you put a public impression on people by an image. All right. So what is the image that America pushes off? Oh, it's okay for uh, homosexuality. It's okay for bestiality. It's okay for transgenderism. It's okay for uh, 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 adultery. It's okay for um, uh, lies and murder. All of that is the image that it pushes out, right? It says a form or mental picture. Ima imagine, all right? Which goes to the word, yeah, because uh, image goes to the word imagine. Okay? So let's go down to here. It says an iconic or mental representation. I'm just going to read a few of these. All right. A personal a facade that one presents to the world. Right. A visual representation or an object or a sense or a scene or person or uh, abstraction. Right. Produced on a surface. A standard or typical example. Right. And, and America is the prototype or typical or standard or typical example of all the rest of the world, uh, or the rest of the world or the country, so to speak, because everybody's because America said, oh, we'll come over here and uh, you got we got golden paving streets and you can come over here and make a life for yourself and and all this other nation. But behind it, but behind the scenes, really ain't nothing but a whole bunch of wickedness going on in this place, man. This place ain't nothing but wicked as hell. You know, just straight wicked. You know, it says, it says language used in figurative, figuratively, figurative, or non-literal sense. All right, someone who closes uh, resembles closely resembles a famous person. All right, I'm just reading all of them. All right, but I want to get to these two right here. It says a general impression that something. A person or an organization or product, right? Because America packages up the images as a product, the image, the, uh, their their image as a product, and sell it off, right? And everybody bites down on those, on that product that they sell, which is the images that I mentioned, which is the uh, the philosophies that I mentioned to you, all right, and presents it to the public. So they present it to the public, a representation of a person, especially in a form or struck or a sculpture. It says render visible. All right. And it says image. Uh, it says imagine, conceive of a see in one's mind. All right. Figure. All right. Envision project. Fancy see figure or picture. All right. So now I read that in the online in the online dictionary. Right. Now let's go to the regular dictionary on the Google. It says image. It says a representation of an external form of a person or a thing in art. Likeness. These are some sim uh, similarities. It says likeness, resemblance, depiction. All right. Representation, statue, sculpture, bust, figure, doll, carving. Painting, picture, portrait, drawing, sketch, right? So all of these things is right here. It says the general impression that a person, organization, or a product represents to the public. Make a representation of the external form of. All right. So, okay. All right. So now let's go back into the Bible. So let's go into the word imagine, uh, image in Revelation. All right, in a, into linear. Let's go into the word image. All right, so here it is right here. Let's, let's play it out. Strong's G, 1504, Icone. 
Icon. Icon, right? Icon, an image, figure, or likeness of an image of things, all right, used as a mortal, a moral likeness of a renewed man, to, you know, now. Nah. All right, no. It says, let's go down to here. Let's just read this. It says, a likeness, i.e., statue or profile or figuratively representation or resemblance of Im uh, image, which pretty much I read the same definition um, uh, in the online etymology dictionary and in on the Google dictionary. So pretty much the same. Well, let's read this here. I it says one in whom the likeness of anyone is seen. All right. Applied to a man or account of his power or command of command. All right. So there you go. So who's in control of modern day Babylon or America? It would be the so-called white man. All right. The top banking families, the elites, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Ironheimers, the DuPonts and the Gettys. They push out all of this wickedness. These uh, this philosophies. Right. Oh, religion is another one as well. I forgot to mention that. But a religion is also in those philosophies. All right. That they push off. OK, so let's go back into this word image. All right, let's go all the way down to Revelation. All right. So if anybody, especially when it comes down to this mark of the beast. So if nobody worships the image, right, which that image is going to come with the mark. The mark is what? Karagma, which means an, inc an incision or etching into the skin, underneath the skin, right? That's how you become a part or you stay a part of this society or the image that they portray of this of this kingdom right by taking that mark of the beast and those that are not compliant it says here that would not worship the image of the beast should be killed right carried off the concentration camps put to death many different other ways all right because you're non-compliant okay you're non-compliant you see so there's your image, right? The philosophies that America pushes off, okay? The same philosophies that ancient pagan, the pagan, the ancient pagan Roman Empire pushed off, all right, is the same philosophies that Babylon, or AKA the modern day Roman Empire pushes off today. The revived modern day Rome pushes off today. All right, to the people. Do as thy will, Alice the Crawley spirit. All right. So you understand, man, you know. Let's go to this right here real quick. Let's go to this real quick. Let me get the book of Revelation. I think it's Revelation. I think it's 17. Yeah, let's read this. Let's read some of this right here. Revelation 17 and 1, it says, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will show thee, and I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. Right, because America is nothing but a whore. All right, the great whore. Okay, because it's embedded in sleeping with all these other nations, backdoor deals, and so on and so forth, man. This place is, uh, this, this, woman this 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 uh queendom is a whore all right that sitteth upon many waters right here this is we talking about america it says with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and uh, for the kings of the earth is all these other uh uh top kings and and, and things like that of these nat of this nature of these other nations it says in the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, right? With the wine of her fornication. 
It says, so he carried me away into the spirit, into the wilderness, and I saw a woman set upon a scarlet colored beast. All right. It says, full of names of blasphemy and having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Right. Because purple is pretty much rulership. That's what purple is. Rulership. Okay. Purple is a royal color. It says, and, and a scarlet color. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, meaning rich. It says, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations. Right, because what are, what are some abominations? What are, what are the things, some abominations here in America? They eat lobster, shrimp, and crab, and pork. Those are all abominations, man. Sleeping with other, men, uh, 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 sleeping with other men's wives. Adultery. All right, so on and so forth, man. Things, some, some laws that are written in the scriptures that you should be put to death for. All right, it says in filthiness of her fornication, right? Filthiness of her fornication, and upon her forehead was was written, was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. See, the mother of harlots and the abomination of the earth. Right, the abominations of the earth, and I saw a woman drunken with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And when I saw her, I was I, I I wondered with great admiration. So he said he wondered with great admiration. Right, because he looked, you know, you could just see him looking like oh, Apostle John, you know, you could just see him looking like, or they would say John the Revelator here, but. You know, you see him looking in with admiration, like, oh, it's crazy, you know. So pretty much the image of the the image of the beast is the philosophies that it pushes off, man. So it's totally different from the mark. All right. The mark is just you saying that you're compliant and that you love living here in this society and that you uh, agree with all the images that or the philosophies that this devil pushes off, man. And that you rather be a slave to, to the so-called white man than rather worship the Most High, worship Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, so pretty much, you know, just wanted to bring that out, you know, and uh, share that real quick, brothers. And you know, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Arakah Kodesh and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. The Bayat Dawada, the House of David. Shalom, brothers. Ababa ball.